Hey guys, Mason here. Welcome back to The Sweet Spot, where I create delicious desserts that you can follow along with at home. As always, the full written recipe and ingredients are listed down below in the description box. Also, while you're down there, if you want to join the family, click that subscribe button and you'll get two new videos every week. So today is officially the kickoff of my fall baking series. So every week of September, we're gonna have two wonderful fall flavored treats. Today, we're making a pumpkin roll. It's a classic where I'm from. Everyone makes them this time of the year. I know pumpkin is, is a huge flavor, but the cream cheese balances this out so well. I even show you the secret to the best cream cheese filling. So if you guys want the recipe, stick around and we'll get started. So to get started, we have our ingredients, all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, three eggs at room temperature, our pumpkin, the three spice blend of cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg, baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and vanilla. So we're going to combine all of our dry ingredients first into a bowl, and whisk those all together and get those incorporated. And then after that we're going to set that aside and begin with our wet ingredients. Now in a stand mixer or with a hand mixer, we're going to combine our sugar and our eggs and beat those together until they're one homogenous mixture. And you shouldn't see a lot of sugar granules left. This could take a couple minutes. Now we're going to add in our vanilla extract and our pumpkin and mix that until it's just combined. This is where you get that lovely bright orange color. Now we're going to combine our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. And I like to sieve those through and do this last part by hand. I know this seems like it's too picky, but you really want to keep the batter as light and airy as possible. Now if you have a 10 by 15 jelly roll pan, a lot of people I know specifically have a pan for roll cakes. I don't, so I have a regular cookie sheet. It is 12 by 17, and I just put my sill pat in the bottom and spread that out to the edges of the sill pat to get the general square shape that we're looking for. And you want to make sure that this is as level as you possibly can get it. And I like to wrap mine on the counter, pick it up and drop it a couple times, just to level it out. And now we're going to bake that in the oven at 375 Fahrenheit for 11 to 13 minutes.
After that comes out of the oven, I pull the entire seal pad off of the pan and cover the top of it completely with powdered sugar. Not only is this gonna give us a nice glossy top, but this is also gonna help prevent it from sticking to itself. And then you're gonna take a piece of parchment and lay that on top of there. And then on top of the parchment, you're gonna bring your pan back so you can hold both sides of that and flip the roll cake over on its bottom side. I know it sounds complicated, but it's really not that complicated. And you're gonna slowly peel that off. If you don't have a seal pad, you could have just used baking parchment there. And now we're gonna cover this side as well completely with powdered sugar. And what we're doing here is training the roll to roll up the way we want it to roll. So you want to do this literally as soon as it's not too hot to handle. You can let it rest on the counter maybe a minute or two and then I would start this whole process. And you're gonna roll that up not too tight, just do it gently. I have a trick here. I use rubber bands to hold mine to keep it from unrolling. Now, while that is cooling out on the counter, we're going to make our cream cheese filling. We're just combining cream cheese, butter, and vanilla and mixing those up completely. And then in parts, we're going to add powdered sugar. Now this is my little secret. In the last bit of powdered sugar, you want just a pinch of nutmeg. It will really amp up that cream cheese flavor. And it also breaks up the tarty sweetness of it. Now we're gonna roll our cake back out and we're gonna spread that mixture completely over the top. And what I like to do is I get it all out in one big blob, and then I start spreading it with my offset spatula. You can use a knife or a spoon here. You're gonna spread it until there's about a half an inch around all sides, and then we're gonna start rolling. Now when we rolled it when it came out of the oven, it really helped to train the cake to roll up this time. Now I like to get two pieces of cling film and wrap that up as tightly as I can, making sure that there's no air coming into the cake because we're gonna put this in the fridge to cool completely for an hour up to overnight. And here's the final result. Isn't it just beautiful? I love the spiral. So what do you guys think? It's so important that you mix in those last dry ingredients by hand because you want to keep 
this cake light and fluffy. And I know that roll cakes seem to be this huge task. They're very arduous and very hard to do. But if you follow all my tips and tricks, the cake will come out perfect every time. Now I have to admit, this is honestly the best time of the year to bake because you get these wonderful herbs and spices and almost any recipe that you feed to anybody this time of the year, it's guaranteed to put a smile on their face. I hope you all like this recipe. Also, if you missed my Oreo truffles recipe, that video will be right up here. Go ahead and watch it. That's all we've got for this episode, but join me Thursday for another wonderful fall recipe. From my home to yours, enjoy.